Welcome to the Average Joe. We'll take you where you need to go. There's plenty of excitement here, so come explore with us. We can always show you something new from theme parks to restaurant reviews. So join us at the Average Joe Florida. Hello, folks, and welcome to this episode of the Average Joe Florida. Coming today from California, not Florida. Today we're at Walt's Original Park. We're at Disneyland and we're here to ride specifically the holiday overlay with Jack and Sally of the Haunted Mansion. So we got our virtual queue at 7 a.m. this morning and we're group number three. So we're gonna, we hopped on the monorail and got over here and uh, we will show you that right now. Here's our own monorail trip coming up right in the next second over. And then we're gonna hop onto the uh, Haunted Mansion and go check it out. And then we'll walk around the park the rest of the day and just ride some uh, some of the rides you don't normally get to ride. We're just gonna the Fantasy Man on the ride, Snow White, that kind of stuff, and just see what's going on. There's a lot of stuff closed so far. Indiana Jones is closed, and Great Most Mr. Lincoln is closed, and a few other tracks. We're gonna spend the day at Disneyland, Walt's Original Park, and see what we can do. Maybe get a bike to eat here or there and see what's going on. But first up is we're gonna go ride that Haunted Mansion overlay. It's our first time ever seeing it, and we're so excited. So. Come on along, let's walk over there and do that. But first, we're gonna get on the monorail. Monorail. Getting on the monorail station here at Downtown Disney to go to Disneyland today. Monorail. Disney Rail monorail. Getting on. Oh, that's low headroom, low headroom. These are definitely smaller than Disney World monorails, but these are nothing but the ones that are in uh, Tokyo Disney which are all automated and robotic, you know, drivers, and they're full, like, luggage can go on board and everything. To those of you who have just joined us, welcome aboard the Disneyland monorail. For your safety, please remain seated, keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the cabin. Watch your children, and no smoking, please. We're now en route to our final stop, the Tomorrowland monorail station. Along the way, you can get a bird's eye look at the downtown Disney district, Disney's Grand Californian Hotel and Spa, and Disney California Adventure. To the left of the monorail is the main entrance of Disneyland, the happiest place Whoa. on earth. Disneyland is truly an a monorail really moves fast. Since its opening in 1955, it has hosted hundreds of millions of guests from around the world, including presidents, kings, and celebrities. It is the original Disney theme park, created and enjoyed by Walt That's Disney himself. To the right is our transportation plaza, where you'll find taxis, hotel shuttles, and public transit. We're about to enter Disneyland. Some of the clearances are pretty tight up ahead, so be sure to remain seated, keeping your hands and arms inside the cabin. There's Harbor Boulevard right there. Yeah. So cool having a different view out of the monorail than we did in Florida. It is. That used to be the uh, uh, Autotopia down there. This is Tomorrowland, a land inspired by science fact and fantasy. Below us is the Submarine Lagoon, where you can dive into a fantastic underwater adventure aboard the Finding Nemo Submarine Voyage. Matterhorn. Oh. Oh, so that's 25 minute wait at Matterhorn. Oh, there they are. We're now approaching the Tomorrowland monorail station our final destination. Then collect your belongings, watch your head, and step carefully from the train. On behalf of all of our crew, thanks for traveling with us, and we hope you'll have a happy and memorable visit here at Disneyland. So we got a virtual queue this morning, and we actually got group three. So we're headed over to the Haunted Mansion now to ride the Haunted Mansion. Uh, Jack Skellington and Sally, Night Before Christmas overlay. We're walking past the Matterhorn right now, that's the sound you hear. So. We got off in the Tomorrowland uh, monorail station. Let's go over to the Haunted Mansion. Walking to Haunted Mansion, we came across the Pirate Band. Never seen anything like this before. That's awesome, I love it. There's Tiana's Palace, right behind where Tiana's ride is gonna be. 
And that's, I believe, where they have the beignets. Fantastic. You can see the construction of Tiana's back there, old Splash Mountain area. And here we go. Here's the haunted mansion with the Jack Skellington holiday overlay. How sweet is this? This haunted mansion is themed along the, I believe it's called Antebellum Homes of New Orleans. A little different theme. The one in Disney World is themed after the mansions of the Hudson Valley area of New York. So they have a different feel to them. Countdown, wreath, how many days till Christmas? Very cool, Jack. Tune in. All food and drink are finished at this time before heading. To see what's inside, it's what happens when two holidays collide. There's no turning back now. Our holiday tale is a tale that's quite charming, but during this season, it's sometimes alarming. So relax and reflect. Feel free to take pause while we tell you a tale about dear Sandy Claus. The floor actually moves. It's an elevator. Was the nightmare before Christmas that rolled through the house. Not a creature was peaceful. Not even a mouse. The stockings all hung by the chimney with care. That morning would cause such a scare. What's this? 
to Tiana's palace here for quick serve and get some beignets on his palace. I got the beignets and I got the fall ones, which are the apple ones. Ooh, they're shake, hot. Okay. Oh, yeah. You should shake that bag around a little bit before you take them Is out. Is that what you're supposed to do? Yeah. It spreads the flour. Oh, the, there you go. There you go. They're not rough. There you go. It spreads the sugar around on them. You're good. There we go. You shake them up. There we go. See that? The sugar's all spread on them. These are the apple ones for fall. This one's weird. Funny shaped? This oh, it like broke open. Hat. It broke open. There we go. And they're Mickey shaped. And we got the caramel dipping sauce with them. So we're going to try them. Let's try it. Well, they are very warm. They are warm, aren't they? There's the apple filling inside. No filling yet. But very hot. Very good warm beignet at Tiana. Good job, Tiana. A little dipping sauce. Oh yeah. Hmm. Excellent. Very good. Disney, I know you watch this. Bring these to Disney World. We need these exact ones there. These are phenomenal. Going over to Port Orleans is not convenient if I'm in a theme park. I'd buy these in a theme park. Excellent job, Disneyland. All right, we're gonna finish these up. They're really good. Sleeping Beauty Castle. Not exactly as tall as Cinderella Castle, but just as beautiful. Walt's original. Let's go on through, shall we? Pop out to the side of Fantasyland. On July 17, 1995, is a time capsule. Yeah, they call it a time castle. A time castle containing Disneyland memories, messages, and milestones lies beneath this spot. The Disneyland Time Castle is dedicated to the children of the 21st century who may unlock its contents at the 80th anniversary of Disneyland, July 17, 2035. That's only 10 years from now. Yeah. Walking to the castle, coming out in Fantasyland. It definitely feels tighter than ours. It's yeah. a little more close. It's nice, it's intimate, that's the word. Mary Poppins and Bert and the band, their, their band are on the carousel. How cool is that? You never see that. Casey Jr. trains are on in, the Storybook Circus boats are running. Okay, we're going to Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway here. I'm not going to film the actual ride, it's the same ride. The queue is definitely different. Help in your movie theater. The Mouseketeer, the Chipmunk Traps, the Parent Trap, the, the Rocketeer, Mickey Through the Ears. This is a much different queue, it's very cool. Different feel. You can't really see this stuff, there's a source of Mickey over there. The plane from Playing Crazy. They're acting out their real movies and shows. Oh, these are all things from Mickey Shorts and Mickey Cartoons. Like the, I like that they were actual clothes he was wearing and stuff in the movies. Instead of being cartoons. Pluto's Christmas tree. That's a Mickey Mouse and get a horse. A lot of Christmas ones. The Golden Bird. <laughs> Potato Land. A solo of Mini. It's a long queue. All the old Mickey shorts. So we stopped for a little snacky over here near the Matterhorn at the Idlebice stand. Look at that cheese in there. That's a garlic spread cheesy bratwurst and pretzel bread. That is incredible. Oh boy. And we got also... It's really large. Yeah, I just got a pretzel bread with cheese and marinara as well. We're going to split it all. So that is that's pretty large. It's huge. One of our uh, traveling friends here already had one, right? And you said very it was good. really, really, really good? Very, very good. Bratwurst is excellent, huh? And then what do we get? Very the same sauce. thing without the... Without the hot dog. Without, without the, the sausage. Dog. Found a cavalcade on Main Street. Moana! Monorail! 
we're going to hop on Alice in Wonderland here, a dark ride, and experience a dark ride while we're in Disneyland. We don't have this at Disney World anymore, if we ever had Alice, I don't know. in Wonderland here, the dark ride at Disneyland, and we're actually being evac'd off of it, but we are four cars from the unload area, so we're not going to be evac'd very far. We're walking people down the track now. That's pretty funny. Of all the rides, they've never been evac'd off a ride ever, and we did evac'd off of this one. Since we successfully broke Alice in Wonderland's ride, let's go on Mr. Toad and see what happens here. Mr. Toad's wild ride. <laughs> Mr. Toad. A leisurely drive through London. A lot of talk. Oh, keep out. London town. This time we're gonna ride Pinocchio. We're doing all the dark rides this afternoon. So we are right outside of Indiana Jones Adventure in Adventureland here in Disneyland. And we found the tree of Patrick Bagora. Here's this tree. We're right outside the pathway to Indiana Jones, as you can see. Do you all know who Patrick Bagora is? Here's his little house. He's a leprechaun. And he was here in the orange groves well before Walt Disney came around. And Walt had to ask him for permission to build his Disneyland park. And Patrick, as the ruler of the land, agreed to let him do that. And Mr. Walt Disney did a little golden book about the story of Patrick Bagora. And the agreement was he had to let Patrick Bagora live here for the rest of his life. So this is a tree, and they have his little leprechaun house built into it here. And since it's Halloween, there's a little Halloween statue over there for him. And I understand it's St. Patrick's Day, they do a huge thing for him. It's all decorated for St. Patrick's Day because he's a leprechaun after all. So this is Patrick Gore's house. It's very rare to see him, but this is where he lives. Rare inside of Indiana Jones Adventure in Disneyland. And he'll be here forever. According to his agreement with Mr. Walt Disney, Patrick Bagora. And Sleeping Beauty just walks on by. No handler, nobody. Just strolling over, talking to some cast members. Going over towards Tomorrowland, it looks like. That just amazes me that they're just so free to walk around and do what they want. Nobody mobs them. No. 
That's Princess Aurora, I believe, right? In Disney World, unfortunately, she would be mobbed by hundreds of people very quickly. Look at, she's just walking with the guests. Princess Aurora. That's a long day at Disneyland, wasn't it? Was. Did a lot of things we haven't done before. A lot of dark rides we haven't done before, huh? Yeah, Pinocchio. Snow, no, not no. Snow Pinocchio, one. Alice in Wonderland, and Mr. Toad. That's yes. a lot of dark rides in one day to do. So uh, we knocked those off. But we had a lot of fun. Disneyland was a lot of fun today. We really, really enjoyed yeah. it. Yeah, we're gonna, so. We're going to head on back to the hotel now, take a little rest, because tomorrow uh, we check out of this hotel and we start our journey to Alani. So that's that. I th actually, no, tomorrow we're going to do more touristy things here in California. We'll try to film some for you. Yeah, we're going on a tour. Yeah, so we'll try to film some of that for you. And then uh, after that, we head on out and go to Alani. So we'll spend a few days there. All right, with that, be safe. Uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, share social media, and remember folks from Disneyland, don't be average. Take care.